Welcome to episode 1116 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode is a little bit of a gut check. It's a little bit of a throat throat punch because this has been in my head for a day or two and just seeing different things and hearing different reactions to things. And I just want to share this as an opportunity to encourage and also as, like I said, the, the, the gut the gut check, right? The, the the check your chin moment. And I want to have you look at this question here and, and be really real with it. Are you being a hater? Mm-hmm. Yes, you. Are you being a hater? And I'm going to preface this with not hate in the intense way, not hate with a, the violent I want to hurt this person, harm somebody, but hate in the sense of, you know, you might throw a little comment here at somebody, you might throw a jab at them, you might see a post, you might see a video from them and kind of get that, that feeling inside like, man, man, forget this dude, forget her, right? I don't know, they're posting again, they're talking about this again. Ah, we know this already, right? We've heard this. We've been here before. All right? You might be jealous a little bit. You might be resentful. You might be threatened by their success or what you perceive as success. And, and this can kind of, this is not a linear thing, right? This goes above and below. Someone who you see is making things happen in your space right your competition quote unquote and then you can look at the people who are on the come up who are looking to make things happen like oh man this this person only has this this many followers they only have this many likes on their posts oh this is the only they only get these amount of comments i want you to turn the temperature around turn turn the microscope on you what are you doing How does it serve you to hate on this person? How does it serve you to be jealous and and hold envy in your heart? Is it possibly blocking your blessings? Is it possibly blocking the clients that you're looking to attract? Is it possibly blocking the abundance that is meant to flow your way? That's a possibility. So Alex, how do we get rid of this? How do we do this? Well, there's nothing to get rid of. There's nothing to resist. It's mainly an acknowledgement of where you're at and maybe just a lesson in how you can appreciate this person what you can learn from them what you can how you can be inspired by them that's also an option that's also a way you can use it if you choose remember that you're born to live your life in abundance you're the master of your future you control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts your emotions and your habits take care god bless stay blessed